The Republican Party under Trump has become a tremendous success. Are you going to be able to flip blue states like in New York and in New Jersey? There's a I rumor you're so. going to do a rally in the South Bronx. I think so, yeah. I think I will do that. And then I think what are you going to do that? I think I'll do one maybe at Madison Square Garden, too. I think we have a chance. New York has changed a lot in the last two years. We have migrants all over the street. They're living on Madison Avenue. I mean, they, it's, nobody can believe what's happened to New York. The people of New York are angry. People that would have never voted for me because I'm a Republican. I mean, they're Democrats. Their parents would never ever, they vote for Democrats. I think they're going to vote for me. So I think we're going to give New York a heavy shot. They're very unhappy in New York, what's happening. And they're unhappy with the crime. You take a look at the crime in New York, it's at record levels. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> what's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay. Okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh, man. You can love the guy. You can hate the guy. But you cannot deny what the hell is going on in these streets. Mr. Trump, man, I don't know what he's doing to these people. But, man, it is remarkable to see. I never thought I'd see the day that we have so much unity, black, White, Hispanics, Asians, they all are backing this guy up. And I have not seen no enthusiasm for Biden like this. Nowhere. And you can't say they got closet Biden, folks. There's no such thing. Everywhere you go, every hood you go, you'll see support for Trump. When he came down here to uh, Atlanta, he went to Chick-fil-A. And a lot of people, a lot of haters saying, oh, it was stage. They knew he was coming. It was false uh, support and all that. Fine. Then he went to Harlem. And remember this? We love Trump! 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 Yeah. He went to Harlem and got support. And people still saying it was stage. He went to see the construction crew. And they said, it will stage. It's turning now. Trump's turn again. What's your message to Joe Biden? F you. Now, now let's look at the Bronx, people. The Bronx, South Bronx. Look at the support for the folks in South Bronx. All these Hispanics. Go. Yo, boy, You can't deny it, folks. You can't deny it. And look at this one. The black folks in the Bronx. If President Trump came here to the South Bronx, would you attend the rally? Of course. I would want to meet Trump. I would want to shake his hand. He's the only president that I see that can ever make America great again. He's capable of doing that. I would love to go to a rally with Donald Trump come. Because I'm a big Donald Trump supporter. And I will support him 100%. Oh, yeah, definitely we're going to show him love. We're going to show him a lot of love. And, you know, like they do in other states. We definitely need to see Trump here. There's nothing but love for Donald Trump here in the South Bronx, the North Bronx, the East Bronx, and the West Bronx. So, you tell we me... Want, we want Trump to come back. Please, bro. Biden, get out of here, bro. I will come to the rally and support Trump. Because the Bronx need a change. And we need somebody that's really going to help this community. I would definitely come to a Trump rally in the South Bronx. I like him. You do? Yes. Yes, I will come to a rally if President Trump was to come to the Bronx. And I also would bring other people to come to and support him. Would Joe Biden get a warm reception if he came to the Bronx? No, he wouldn't have. And I'll make sure of that. <laughs> what? <laughs> they are all coming out in support for Trump. You cannot deny this, folks. Man, I think New York's in play. I think Jersey in play. And I think he might flip these two strongholds. 
They are tired of the crimes in New York. They are tired of the, the, the double talk or the disrespect to minorities. You only come there when you need something. Once you get it, you out. No. Look at this one here. New York governor. This one says that people in the Bronx don't know what the f computer is. Well, young black kids growing up in the Bronx who don't even know what the word a computer is. They, they don't know. They don't know these things. It's 2024, and this New York governor says there are black children in the Bronx who don't know what a computer is. You don't know what a computer is, people. You say the disrespect they have, and she's not the only one. We had Biden say the same thing not too long ago. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. And these folks are tired of it. We are tired of the way you treat us, you talk to us, you talk about us. We don't know how to find a, a voting booth. We don't know how to get IDs. You just keep playing us. And we're tired of it. We're starting to see through this. And these folks are saying the same thing. Yeah. Now, that's why I'm here. As a black man, I'm standing here right now and I'm telling every black American, if you continue to continue, if you continue to support the Democratic Party, which is anti-black, you're a damn fool. I am extremely proud to say that I will be voting for Trump in November. This will be the first time that this has been brought to the South Bronx. I lived right here in the South Bronx for 15 years. I was, um, yesterday I had a, a client, 8 o'clock in the morning, all right? We're going to get our client, and I'm on the highway, 85 South, and there's state patrols out there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Like, what's going on? Mr. Biden was in town for a commencement speech at Morehouse. And if y'all haven't seen the clips of this one, Jesus Christ, this guy's still talking about racism and, and identity politics. This guy here just don't get it. What is democracy? If black men are being killed in the street, what is democracy? The trail of broken promises still leave black, black communities behind. What is democracy? You have to be 10 times better than anyone else to get a fair shot. And most of all, what does it mean? As we've heard before, to be a black man who loves his country, even if it doesn't love him back in equal measure. It was so bad that some of the students had to turn their back on him. They did a silent protest. Nobody applauded him. They just let an old man rant. And then they didn't want to be disrespectful because the dean already forewarned him not to do it. So shout out to Morehouse for being respectful. And not acting a fool like the other colleges out there that are, you know, um, breaking up their, their colleges over Hamas. They're not doing that, but they did a silent protest. They just kept themselves quiet and did not, uh, entertain Biden, but he was still at it. Well, that's my commitment to you to show you democracy, democracy, democracy is still the way. If black men are being killed in the street, we bear witness. For me, that means to call out the poison of white supremacy, to root out systemic racism. I stood up for George with George Floyd's family to help create a country. We don't need to have that talk with your son or grandson as they get pulled over. Now, you want to see some self-serving. Mr. Biden goes out there to do a commencement speech. And knowing the atmosphere, he still got a honorary doctrine from Morehouse. And therefore, with the authority granted in me by the Morehouse College Board of Trustees, I confer upon you, Joseph R. Biden Jr., the honorary doctor of laws, honoris causa, with all the rights privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Congratulations, Dr. Joseph Biden. Yeah, so everybody, we have two Dr. Bidens now. Dr. Jill Biden, and now honorary Dr. Biden, the president. 
from Morehouse. Good job, Morehouse. Ugh, unbelievable. But the overwhelming support from Trump, from all sorts of these boroughs, I think New York's in play. I think Jersey in play. And once he gets out of this hush money trial and he start going to Michigan, start going to Wisconsin, Wisconsin, we need you to stand up too. When you start going to these states, Pennsylvania, when you start going back in these states and rallying, you're going to start seeing the truth. But you know they're trying to handcuff him. They try to tie both hands behind his back and put a gag over in his mouth so he don't say nothing. But he's still getting the support. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on the notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get your ass off my lawn.